All right. Fool me once. Hmm. Shame on me. Fool me twice with a cool episode concept and you kind of flub it away. That's on you. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry for the lateness of this review. Uh, I admit that I have been meaning to get around to this episode, but after watching Westworld, uh, just build I, my build up for Westworld was much bigger than Supernatural. I'm sorry to say that, but Westworld's been really good. It just ended. If you guys haven't seen any of my reviews, please check those out, cause and then check out the show. Well, check out the show, then see my reviews. Whatever. Either way, uh, wearing this shirt again. This is the uh, the Dean and Castiel shirt, and then I also found this uh, Castiel cup at uh, HMV. I feel disgusting for saying that out loud, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's that interesting. Might probably will be my supernatural cap from now on. So, episode seven. <sighs> Remember the episode we had recently where Dean killed Hitler and that was totally a wasted episode? We now have Apocalypse point two now going on with Lucifer being loose. And I was really looking forward to the whole idea of Castiel and Crowley being a duo, buddy cop duo. Like they even built it up in the ads for this episode. And they did maybe like two jokes with it, and that was it. This whole episode, I was waiting for this concept, and they just threw it away. As for Lucifer, he's walking around in Buck Springfield, whatever this guy is, anyways. And this was kind of interesting. I think he did a good job. Admittedly, I was kind of worried that he wouldn't do a good job as Lucifer because Mark Peller everyone's basically just been masking Mark Pellerino's acting and he did all right except the script for him is just stupid because we get once again another way we we about Lucifer being mad at God and now the other few the other times made sense season five in incredibly made sense and then when he came back again I was like okay but now he's just sounding like a whiny child you are turning the devil into a little bitch a little whiny bitch and i can't take that because you're turning the one semblance of this still having a this season still having a good villain and you're turning him into a whiny little child now admittedly at the end when sam points out that lucifer has no plan he's just basically being chaotic kind of makes me think of the joker and that is a cool idea but just how it was delivered it just seemed like yeah we really have to make up for that scene where he was being a whiny little child so we have to try and reaffirm Lucifer as this really big evil badass. But we have this scene earlier that's just salted the waters forever. So I don't know. I didn't enjoy this episode. I was liking the build up towards it. I thought everything about it was kind of cool. The jokes at LA, once again going to LA, which was just downtown Vancouver. And all the other venues and aspects of the episodes were cool. No one would turn each other in. Real sin-like atmosphere. And then it comes to the... Like, it was a great build-up. And then the turnout was just bleh. The idea that they're trying to make Lucifer a big bad again. Except the script is so muddled that it didn't... It has no real direction. At one point, Lucifer says that I'm just doing this for fun. I have no motive. I have no plan. And that's what I felt like this season's got so far. There's been such back and forth between really good episodes and uh, episodes. This admittedly is the second uh, of the season, but that's two out of seven. So I'm hoping that the ratio stays positive because I am enjoying certain aspects of the season. I'm just really on the fence now with the Lucifer aspect because this really threw away, I thought, a great potential for an episode. Anyway guys, I'm gonna give this episode a 3 out of 7. It was enjoyable up until the end and then it just felt really wish-wash. I am looking forward to the next episode mainly because I'm wondering what's happening. I haven't checked out CW yet but this is basically around this time of year is when C Supernatural did their mid-season finale and that was an amazing mid-season finale last year so I'm waiting to see what they do for this one. I really hope to god this wasn't it because this isn't tidying me over at all. Also on a side note, uh, David D. Simone asked this, so I'm going to put a link in the description for a Supernatural Facebook fan page. Hopefully I'll get to post my reviews there. It's still a little small group growing. Uh, if you guys are interested in just some interesting Supernatural memes, uh, quotes, all this other stuff, check out the link below. He's still building it, but it's a pretty, it looks like it could uh, be something pretty cool. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.